welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to do a full face of first impressions. I'm really really excited to try these new K-Beauty products because I am obsessed with K-Beauty and trying out new products on camera is just so fun because we get to explore it all at the same time. And I love first impressions, that excitement when you get a new product to just try out for the first time. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, quickly just tied up my hair because then it won't get in the way and I'm so excited now to try all these products. Special thank you to Starvana for sending me these to try out and I can't wait to get into them. The first thing I want to talk about is the I'm Mimi Bare Lips. This is a tinted lip balm and a sheer lipstick if you want to call it. And I already have this so I know I'm going to love it. I have the shade in number 2 Nutty and as you can see I've used quite a bit of it and it's just a really nice kind of tint for the lips for a no makeup makeup look and it really moisturizes and hydrates your lips. I'm not going to try it today just because I already know what it feels like on the lips and they sent me another lip product that I want to try out. This is also by I'm Mimi. This is the Pep Balm which is actually a multi balm. You can use it on your lips, your cheeks and your eyes. I love multi-purpose products like that and I love the packaging. It's like an acrylic paint box. Here it is. It actually feels like just like a tempera or acrylic paint, which I used to have all the time in the art building. I've always actually had this on my wish list, so really excited they gifted me this. Uh, the color Brink is like a brick and pink, so let's open it up together. It's very, very dark. Hmm, a little skeptical. I'm going to start with my lips first because lately I just like having some color on my lips on the first thing for my makeup, so I'm gonna use my fingers and dab some on the center of my lips. For one, it's very pigmented, didn't expect that, I'm not going to lie, I thought it would be like a balm, but yeah, this is insanely pigmented, I um, didn't need this much, so uh, if you're using this, be careful. It's more like a liquid lipstick, that's what it feels like, it's very souffle like, it's like the rare beauty lipsticks, which um, I actually really enjoy, and the baby lip tints, it's like a cloud and it smooths over your lips really nicely. It actually doesn't have that hydrating sense. It's more like a velvet tint, which I'm not mad about, but not was something I was expecting. This is just insanely pigmented, so be careful. As you can see, I only went through with a little bit and this is doing... Wow. <laughs> A little bit goes a long way, let's just say that. Okay, next product we're going to try out is from VT Cosmetics. This is the Essence Skin Foundation Pack. Oh, that looks very pretty. How luxe is this packaging? Doesn't this kind of remind anyone of the Gucci products? The Gucci like bronzer and like the skin powder, etc. It has the same kind of feeling. It's like a cushion packed. So, as always, K Beauty is very famous for their cushions. So, you have your Cushion packed, and you open it up to reveal the foundation inside. Ooh, this foundation is very, very different. It's like a marble, and it's more of a cream rather than a um, liquid. So this is the imprint. Very, very pretty. I don't want to ruin it, but for the sake of swatching it, let's have a go. Yeah, definitely. Once you put your finger in it, the imprint's completely destroyed, but. This is in the shade 21. I am going to apply this all over my face. I have already primed my face with some sunscreen and some primer. So I'm going to go in with the powder and apply this all over my face. It does have a mirror inside here, but it has like the sticker where it protects it. So I'm going to remove that as well. Okay, so I got some of the product on the powder puff. As you can see, the marble shade is still there, which is really pretty. And let's apply it on the skin. Hopefully this is a good shade match for me. I'd say that's pretty good. I'd say that's a pretty good shade match. I haven't used foundation in a hot minute, so oh, this is going to be an experience. Looking at this foundation right now through the mirror, which is very clear, I can see that it is a more light to medium coverage. It's also very luminous and definitely a cream to powder product. I can't see a drastic difference between my left and right hand side except for my right side it is a lot lighter because I have foundation over it and it is quite a light shade as you can see but overall not that big of a massive difference which I actually like. I don't like having very heavy foundation. It doesn't feel heavy on my face and 
So far, pretty nice. I'm back with the foundation on my full face, and I must say, I really, really like it. I think it really did a great job evening out my skin tone and makes my face look really, really dewy and just overall a lot more perfected than it was. Now, something to keep in mind for this pack is it is a cream product, so it's not as easy to get a product out. You really have to go in there and squish it to get it. The main issue for me was I didn't want to disrupt the kind of water marble mark so I just like stayed on there and then pressed it like that. You can definitely swirl around that'll be much easier but just for me because I like the aesthetics of this and honestly I really like it and I think it did a great job at you know evening out my skin tone. It really really just made my skin more glowy and I really like that. It, it's a little bit light so we'll just ignore that for now. And then something to keep in mind about this powder pack is it is actually SPF 50, which is incredible. So you're getting sun care and coverage. I'm also going to quickly just powder my face because I am going to go over with a powder palette next. The next product I'm going to try out is a Peri Peri Ink V Shading Contour Powder and I got it in the shade of 03 Hazel Grey. This has been a product that has been raved about by so many people and I'm so glad to finally try this out. The packaging is adorable and Honestly, Peri Peri is one of my favorite K-beauty brands. Um, just Club Clio in general as a cosmetic company makes some great products. I love Peri Peri, I love Clio. I like how there are three shades so you can customize it to fit your skin tone. I'm also going to be using the McQueen New York Face Brush which has been sent as well. I actually really enjoy contouring, it's just that I'm not the best at it. So I'm really excited to try this out and just put some structure back into my face. This is actually quite a light product in terms of weight and it's quite thin as well so something to keep in mind but yeah let's go in first i'm going to first take a mix of the lightest two shades and contour my face there's actually no kickback in the pan which i think is quite impressive and it coats the brush really nicely i would say the pigmentation is quite light which is actually really nice so you can build it up and it blends really easily into the skin so I deposited all here under my cheeks at first and it was quite dark but now I can blend it out which amazing now I'm going to take the middle shade and just contour my eyes so I can make it look more snatched and pulled back this brush is also really nice it is a synthetic brush and it's very very soft it's really good for blending all my products out and diffusing the pigments I actually don't like very pigmented products because it's harder to take away. It's nicer if it's lighter and then you build it up slightly. But this is beautiful. Ooh. I'm going to take the lighter shade and do a little bit of a nose contour. I'm really loving this contoured look right now. This is a perfect contour powder for beginners like me because I'm not the best at contouring. I always go in with too heavy of a hand, but this... Pigment is definitely something you can build up and it builds up perfectly. It's really nice, but the first initial deposit is very, very light and definitely can create a really subtle look that enhances all your facial features. So I love this. I think this is amazing and I like how you can customize all the colors. I didn't actually use the darkest color because learning from experience, always go in with a light hand first and this is just fabulous i love it the next product i'm going to go to is blush i actually got sent two products so the first one is the peri peri pure blush sunshine cheek in 06 morning blush here it is it is so cute and ta -da! it has such a cute imprint on it as well and such a cute message it says it's okay you already shine how lovely and cute is that so pretty um this shade is a little light it is a pastel pink almost not sure how it's going to look on my skin but honestly i've heard so many good things about this blush actually and i was meaning to try this out myself but <laughs> thankfully i didn't purchase it the second one is also from i'm mimi and this is the multi cube i must say this is very very tiny i thought it'd be much bigger I have been meaning to try out the multi cube because it just seems like such a cute idea. It's an eyeshadow and blush or bronzer in one. So look at it. It is so small though. I thought it would be a lot bigger. But here it is. So what you do is you open it up like a lunchbox and you have your eyeshadow quad, which this color story looks so cute. And I think I'll definitely use a lot of it. And you open up the first layer and you reveal the blush that's underneath. 
here it is. It's also a very um, pale pink color, not as pastel and white tone as the Peri Peri. I'm going to try out the Peri Peri to see how it looks on my skin first. And if it doesn't look too good, I'll use this as a backup to save it. But let's give this a go. So I'm going to go in with a huge fluffy brush and take a look. There's quite a bit of kickback um, and powder from the blush. So that's something to keep in mind. It's actually showing up. How surprising. Oh, who knew I was this pale? It is very lightly pigmented at first when you put it on, but you can definitely build it up. And since my look today is quite cool tone, this is actually matching it perfectly. This is layering beautifully on top of the contour powder and it's all blended in together perfectly. I actually really dig this. Just out of curiosity, I want to try a bit of the I'm Mimi blush because it is a bit darker and I'll put it on the outside corner. It's a lot less powdery and also a lot darker. So I think it will be a lot more pigmented as well. Definitely the I Am Mimi blush is a lot more pigmented and because it's darker, it shows up on my skin a lot better as well. Ooh, these two blushes together, they actually layer so nicely. I actually love this new method where I'm putting a very light blush all over the cheek and then at the very end, take a slightly darker but very similar tone and color and just placing it on the outside corner and it just pulls the whole look together. I love this. My face looks really, really good right now. My face is radiant. Okay, let's move on to the next product. Now I'm going to try the Orchid Skin 3-in-1 Eyebrow. I have never tried from this brand before and how cute is this little doll mascot? And I'm really excited to try this. I got this in the shade 02 Ash Grey and I'm very excited to try this since it's 3-in-1 so it has your normal eyebrow pencil and then here it is. It's in a very triangular shape. Very sharp. Very nice, I like that. And it also has a brow powder as well as normally your spoolie. So very, very compacted and convenient. I'm going to first try the powder side and just fill in some sparse areas before going in with the pencil and drawing some hairs. It's quite pigmented, so <clears throat> be careful. I'm going to use the spoolie and just brush everything out. Honestly, I feel like the powder is good enough for my brows alone. I have pretty full brows, so this looks really nice, but I do want to give the pencil a try. You can definitely draw some very, very thin strokes as well as going in like that with the wide side. I really like it. It's quite a hard formula. Let's see how it goes about on my brows. I also elongated my eyebrows a little bit. I think that look is very, very flattering. My eyebrows look so bold today, but I really like this color on me. It's just a tad on the cool side again, but this eyebrow pencil, it's very, very soft. I thought it'd be really hard from when I was swatching it because it felt quite waxy, but when I put it on my brows, it was actually really, really soft and it just deposited the color immediately. Extremely pigmented, really, really nice. And I love that sharp edge. Yeah, this is just looking really, really good. Nothing bad to say about this. I'm really curious about this brand now. Maybe I'll try more from them because I like this eyebrow product. This is going to be a staple. Now I'm going to go in back with the Imimi Multi Cube with the eyeshadows. What I'm going to do first is take number one all over the lids, almost as just like a primer and just to set my lids. There's a little bit of kickback in the pan, but nothing too serious. So just to let you guys know. Now I'm gonna go in with shade number two and just put that on the center of my lids. Because it has some shimmers, there's definitely a lot more kickback in the pan uh, because the palettes are more loosely packed, but it coats my brush nicely. Hey, okay, look how cute that is all over the lids. Really, really digging that. Now I'm going to go in with shade number three. This is a matte again. So number one and three are both mattes. This is more like a matte brown. So I'm going to use that to darken the crease and then bring it down to make a smoky lash line. Now I'm going to take a flat brush in number three again. The most exciting part, number four, the shimmer. I'm going to just take my fingers and dapple into it. It's quite hard. You can feel like the grainy glitters. It looks very pretty though, doesn't it? I'm going to now just pack this on the center of my lids. 
It's so good. Oh my gosh. Very, very glittery for sure. Oh, this glitter number four is so pretty. It's a bit on the dry side. It's not like buttery, but the effect is stunning, I have to say. And there's actually no fallout on my under eyes for the glitter, which is really impressive. I love how this look is turning out. This is so cute. Oh, very good. So my first impressions on this, definitely the matte, really nice, buttery, soft, blend themselves. The shimmer was really cute too, had a little bit of pigments, which added to the look, and this glitter, phenomenal. So pretty. It's like almost holographic as well. For the next part of my eyes, I'm going to try the McQueen New York Jewel Potent Glitter Liner. So I have never tried this before, but this is essentially just a glitter liner. Um, McQueen New York makes some beautiful eye products. Their eyeliners, for one, are one of the best. Their gel eyeliners, their liquid eyeliners, everything about it is just amazing. So I can't wait to try this. This is what it looks like. Very, very shimmery. Also very liquidy as well. So it comes with a brush applicator, like so. Let's have a little swatch. Ooh. Very, very glittery. I'm going to just highlight the inner corner of my eyes just to give it more of a bling. I like how thin the applicator is. It really lets me get close. It really just gave my eyes a bit of a pop. I know a lot of K-pop stars like to put it on the inner corners or down to the center just to accentuate their eyes. And I think it looks really nice. It's actually quite pink and purpley um, in person looks quite natural on camera but in person it's very pink and purple really just brightened my entire look like the glitter from earlier i thought that was like shiny and phenomenal already but once you put this on all the attention goes onto your inner corners it is so stunning it makes you look like you have more attention in your eyes next i'm going to use the Lux gel eyeliner in number one kill black by riri riri rihanna uh Ri. I don't know what it means. I don't know how you pronounce it. But again, first time trying something from this brand. I'm really excited. Oh, it's very big. <laughs> I don't know. Just expect it to be a lot smaller. Here it is. It is a gel eyeliner. And let's give it a little swatch. Very smooth. Very pigmented. Oh, glided right on. I didn't feel like I was touching my hand, but here it is looking really good and I'm just going to wing out my eyes. I can't do eyeliner on camera so I'm gonna go off camera and then be right back. I'm back with my eyeliner on and can I just say this eyeliner is so good. This eyeliner is almost like the McQueen eyeliner. It is buttery smooth, it is pigmented, it glides right on and Look at that, it looks so cute. And I put it in my um, waterline as well and it hasn't smudged yet. How good is this eyeliner? I'm very shocked at that. And I really like how there was a pointed edge here. So it's very easy to draw out a mini wing. And there's also a sharpener at the back. So if it ever gets blunt, you can sharpen it yourself. This eyeliner is amazing. It's so good. I'm still shocked at how nicely this went on. It was just... It did its work for me. I didn't have to do too much myself. And it was also really easy to blend. As you can see, I tried to blend the wing liner a little bit so it fades out. Again, emphasizing on how natural this look is. And I used my brush to kind of smear out the eyeliner so the wing looks more subtle and wispy. It just looks so good. I love this eyeliner. This is a new favorite. I'm definitely going to use this every day. And yeah, it hasn't smudged on my lower lash line, which phenomenal. I kind of regret it when I put it in my waterline because I thought, how about if it smudges? But it doesn't. And I love it. It's so good. Can't wait to use this more. Next up, I'm going to try the Hamish Dalism Smudge Stop Mascara. This has been a cult favorite. And this was actually listed as, I think, Starvana's 2021 top makeup. This, I've been hearing so much about it, and I love Hamish as a brand. Their skincare is really nice. I love their um, pH cleanser. That's things, that, that stuff is just so good. Uh, so I can't wait to try this, and let's have a look. Okay, so a curved applicator that is kind of actually big. I'm kind of concerned because my eyes are a little bit small, and I have no eyelashes. But 
smudge stop. There's no smudging, which is number one thing I look for in the mascara because my lashes always make mascara smudge. So can't wait to try this out. Quickly going to curl my lashes and then apply this mascara. Mascara is good. It really separated my lashes, lengthened, and actually curled slightly. I was too scared the applicator was going to be too big for my eyes, but it just went through and combed my lashes perfectly. Okay guys, I am back and I have my mascara on. I fixed up the lippies a little bit and here is my final look. I'm honestly so blown away by this look and all these products. I didn't expect to like all of them this much, especially because, I don't know, there's always products where they just don't work for you for some reason or the other, but all of these actually work amazing on me. And I, I just love how this turned out. It, it's just such a pretty, pretty look. And I think I found some new staples and even holy grails for my collection. Now just going to do a quick recap of everything I used. This foundation pack, honestly, the packaging alone, I love it. It is so luxurious and beautiful. For someone who doesn't use foundation, this is amazing. It feels so light on my face. It's almost as if I feel like I'm not wearing any foundation, which I love. It really evened out my skin tone and it settled really nicely onto my skin. I'm looking at my nose right now and honestly, I feel like it just went straight into my skin. It looks perfect. All the products are sitting really nicely on top of it and this foundation is sitting on top of my um, primer, my sunscreen really well as well. Um, most sunscreen and primers are my holy grails, so I know that those definitely work. And the fact that this foundation sits on top of it is telling me that it's doing a great job um, adhering to all that as well. So this foundation, amazing, really pretty packaging. Just the only thing is, as a foundation packed, it's a little bit strange to have a cream rather than a liquid with like a mesh top where you can like, you know, bounce the product and it comes on. So that's the only thing. Uh, I really like the powder like sponge. It really feels quite soft on my face and love the huge mirror. It's great. Uh, also looks hella pretty. Like look at that water marble. And yeah, I think I would give this a solid 8 out of 10. Medium coverage, maybe need a little bit more. The skin tone is a little bit light for me but honestly that can be fixed with some tone up cream and not that big of an issue the only thing i would say is it was a little bit difficult to apply evenly especially because with the water marble didn't know if you could see on camera but there were patches where it was like really dark beige and white so at first that was a bit scary and i had to like pat over it a few times to blend that out um yeah, apart from that, really, really nice. I love it. 8 out of 10. The Bare Lips, even though I didn't open it and use it today, I know I'm going to love this formula. And this color is a really pretty red. So I think this is going to be a solid 9 out of 10. The only thing I don't like about the Bare Lips, I'll use mine as a demonstration, is you can twist the product up, but you can't twist it down. I hate that about the packaging. Like, why would you do that? Like, not everyone just doesn't twist it like oh and <laughs> i don't know i just hate the packaging on this because i personally really like twisting my lip balm up and then smothering it over my lips and then like making it go down because i'm always scared the cap is going to mess up it like the product as you can see it's like really messy don't know why they decide to do that with the packaging but you know that's the only thing horrible about it 9 out of 10 perfect really like it the i mimi pet balm really cute um hella pigmented as we can see it actually doesn't dry down it's more like a velvet tint but there's definitely still some you know um transfer so just to keep in mind does blend really nicely a little bit drying on the lips it's not as moisturizing or balmy as i had expected so i think i'll give this a 7 out of 10 but i do like the fact that it is multi-use so in the future i'll definitely use this on my cheeks and my eyes as well this contour powder 10 out of 10 i love this nothing bad to say about it the shades are perfect for me even though i didn't use the darkest shade the lightest two shades they looked so good on my cheeks it just melts into my skin like it's not obvious that i wore contour powder i feel like it's a part of my natural shading in my on my face the shade and undertones are spot on for me and everything about it's just great and also there's like no kickback in the pan so easy to use i just love this no wonder people love it i just 
actually adore this. This will make me want to contour more in my life, which is definitely, definitely a bonus. Love it. Love Peripera. And this Peripera blush, I actually really liked it. The shade is a little bit pale for me. It's too white. It did show up on my face though. And let me just do a quick swatch of it right now. Look at that. It looks like milky and just very pale. Yeah, definitely, definitely like it's almost like a finishing powder. You almost can't see it on me, but I actually did uh, lightly blush up my cheeks. I really like the formula. It's very, very smooth and buttery soft. I think there are tons of other shades in this collection. So if you want to try this out, definitely check out the other shades as well. This is just too pastel -y for me, not something I would reach for every day, at least by itself. Um, but speaking of that, it looked so nice when it was layered with this blush from the I Mimi box. Um, it's just really, really pretty combination. I really like, as I said, having the light shade all over and then on the outer corners, this slightly darker, it really, you know, just accentuates my cheeks, which I really like. Um, so formula wise, really love this blush. Just a little bit too light for my skin tone. So a seven out of 10. The I Mimi box, this blush, really, really nice. Really, really soft and buttery as well. Very smooth on the skin. I really like it. Um, nothing bad to say about it. So the blush, a winner. And the eyeshadows, I actually really love the formula. I think the mattes, they blend themselves. It's really, really easy to use. And number two, that little shimmery pink shade, actually quite pigmented. I really liked it all over my lids. It gave a nice sheen. And number four, the glitter shade. It's a little bit on the dry side, but it feels exactly like the glitters in the Clio palette, except for the glitter chunks aren't that big. I really like the glitter shade just on the center of my lids to accentuate everything. Feels perfect, didn't have any fallout. Yeah, this is actually such a cute and handy little um, multi-box. I think I would actually use this quite often. I just think it's a little bit too pricey for what you get because it is actually tiny whilst it looks adorable and I must say I love it. So yeah, I would give this a solid 9 out of 10. Really like it. Just wish it was a little bit bigger because I feel like I'm not getting enough bang for my buck here. The Orchid Skin 3-in-1 Eyebrow Product. This is actually really, really nice. I love this. I think I'll give this... Mm, I'll give this a 10 out of 10 because the spoolie here is actually really nice. A lot of the spoolie brushes, they're kind of just there. They don't really do too much, but this spoolie brush actually blended out the product and made everything mush together, no harsh lines. The powder, insanely pigmented, really easy to use and blend. And the eyebrow pencil, really liked how fine it was and the color was just a really great one on me. So I love this. I will be trying out more products from this brand actually because this worked out so nicely for me. I really enjoy it. Next, I'm going to talk about this Riri. <laughs> I have no idea how you pronounce it. Eyeliner, Luxe Gel Eyeliner, 10 out of 10. Amazing. It is holding up so well on my eyes. It's been actually about two hours since I first applied this on my face. I did run some errands before filming this and it hasn't gone down my waterline. It's just stayed up there. It hasn't transferred and it's staying put really, really nicely. I love it. I even put some at the bottom to smoke out my lashes to just accentuate my eyes. But this glided on like a dream. It's staying put uh, in my waterline, as you can see, just underneath here. And the pigment is insane. Really, really love this product and I highly recommend. The Hamish Mascara. This is actually really, really pretty. It combed through my lashes really well and I thought the brush and applicator would be too big for my eyes but it actually went through everything really really nicely. It separated, it didn't clump and curled my lashes. Looks really good, hasn't smudged yet. I am excited to wear it for longer throughout the day and so far this is a massive win for me. So the Hamish mascara gets a solid 8 out of 10 for now. It's not my favorite mascara because you know, I haven't used it enough to give it that, but right now everything is checking my marks. Um, so yeah, 8 out of 10. Almost forgot about the McQueen um, Jewel Potent Glitter Liner. This stuff is really, really cute. I've never used something like this before. 
Uh, it was a little bit strange to get used to the texture because it's so watery. You can see it moving in the box as I'm tilting it. But it really looks amazing on the eyes. I feel like it accentuated my inner corners really, really nicely. Gave that extra pop. And I just really like the holographic glitters. I'm not going to lie. This will be really fun. I feel like... Even for every day, you can wear this, just like a little bit of glitter on the inner corners, or you can wear this for like festivals, parties, etc. I think I'll give this a 7 out of 10, only because the texture is a little strange and um, it did take a while to settle, but once it's settled, it looks really, really nice. I enjoy it, I really like it. Um, the brush was a little bit flimsy, so it was easy to kind of deposit too much, so I had to use my fingers to scrape a little bit when it was wet. But once it dries, it's been staying put really, really nicely. Really like it. Also want to give a quick rating of this McQueen face brush. It's very, very soft and it picked up all the products really nicely, blended it really smoothly into my face. Nothing bad to say about it. Really like it. It's the perfect amount of density. Not too dense, but also fluffy enough for me to blend things. So I really, really enjoy this as well. I would give this... I'll give this a 10 out of 10. It's pretty perfect. I would use it every day. All right, guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun trying out all these products and doing a full face using First Impressions K-Beauty. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up or even subscribe to my channel. And I can't wait to see you guys for the next video. Let me know in the comments below if you have tried any of these products. Do you agree with my opinions? And which products do you think you want to try for the future yourself? But in the meantime, that's it for today and I'll see you guys next time.